thanks for tuning in to another little video I have on my uh, call on the Ozarks uh, channel here. Um, today I'm going to show you a, uh, uh, a rifle barrel cooler that I made. These things are getting pretty popular and they're about 60 bucks for one of them. So uh, what I did is I took a, uh, mine, mine's a uh, uh, AR-10 platform, a 6.5 Creedmoor, but uh, I've seen some of them where they'll take and put a, a computer fan on the side here and I think that worked pretty good. You have to cut a hole in it. That might be kind of tricky getting a hole cut in, in the metal or the plastic. It kind of it'd be kind of a little bit hazardous and grab that thing and cut you. So I dug around on uh, uh, Amazon and uh, found one of these uh, uh, blowers that blow out uh, this way. And it cost me, I forget what it cost me, less about 10 bucks or something along in there. And just an old Magpul um, magazine here, one I'm not using. What I did was I just took out all of the, I took out the follower and the spring and all that stuff. Just pulled all that out and then took off the, the bottom of it, slid it off, just discarded all that. And then as you can see, the output from this fan is. Uh, uh, about half the width of it. And so it took me a piece of wood that just happened to be the right size. And if you can see that down there or not. And uh, cut it off. It's about that long, you know. And I stuck it down in there and put some epoxy on each side of it so it wouldn't slide back out. And then, uh, you know, to block off that uh, the air from coming out, plugged up all the little, any little holes, plugged those up with some uh, RTV or whatever you've got. And then uh, to get this attached to, to get this fan attached to this magazine, I first took and uh, put a rubber band on it to, to hold everything in place. I'll show you what I did here because it's a little tricky. You can just use any kind of rubber band, but I just happen to have one of these big ones. I took a, a rubber band and uh, just put it around. It don't have to be one of these big ones, just something that'll hold it. And then take and, and lean it, maybe make it a two-person job. And then use epoxy, this two-part epoxy, this five-minute epoxy, and then just kind of uh, lean it back just a little bit and put some of that in there, just enough to hold, put some on this side, lean it the other way, put some in there, just enough to hold it in place. And you get it all, look at it, get it all lined up, I've used epoxy for years, decades, I love it. And then just let it set, get it all nice and straight. Then when you uh, come back, you take the, the uh, rubber band off of it and um, mix up some more epoxy on the, on the table here, on the piece of paper. And then uh, dip that on here and just carefully, just put it right along the edge. I did I only had to do it twice. Just once when I, when I glued the fan onto the magazine and then uh, once uh, the second time to uh, get everything all sealed up and, and uh, tighter and, and more you can kind of see in there and uh, so, so it won't pop off there on you but I mean it worked just fine and, uh, and it's got me a 12, uh, 12 volt DC power supply that I had laying around you can find these in yard sales or you might have one because this fan is 12 volts DC and you just uh, just pop this up in the uh, lower of your uh, rifle with the uh, bolt pulled back and uh, plug this in and then there there is a lot of air coming out of there you kind of hear that blowing I mean that, that's that's a lot of air This bad boy is going to work. So that should do it. Uh, let me know what you think about my little, uh, you know, it's, it, it hasn't been, uh, this is nothing new, people doing a do-it-yourself thing, but this uh, little centrifugal fan here, I think is a little bit different, and it's going to have more of a uh, uh, airflow in there, I think. But let me know what you think. And if you like this, uh, hit the subscribe button, and um, 
um, hit the notification bell so you'll uh, be notified of my hunting adventures and uh, any uh, uh, do-it-yourself or make things better <laughs> projects that I have, uh, typically weapons related. But thank you very much for watching and uh, you have a good day.